2022 was not a good year for the Walt Disney Company. Uh, that year, last year, it posted the worst domestic box office grosses it had in over two decades. Absolutely abysmal. Not only are the grosses the worst in nearly two decades, but just since 2019, the company has seen their grosses decline nearly 70%. YouTuber and scooper WDW Pro kind of put us on to this story. He said in his own video, the Walt Disney Company has seen something like a 70% drop in the box office totals it's receiving since 2019. Now, you might blame that on the pandemic, perhaps, and say we're in a post-pandemic world. But if that's the case, then why is Disney on track to drop hundreds of millions of dollars versus their 2022 box office totals? Um, the YouTuber went on to make his point by citing Box Office Pro's uh, report of the Walt Disney Company's 2019 box office grosses. The outlet reported the company grossed $13.1 billion globally across its Disney and Fox film releases in 2019. They added, quote, that number includes $4.3283 billion in North America and $8.8234 billion overseas. So just to give you an idea on what films released in 2019, they actually released 13 films. They included Avengers Endgame, The Lion King, and Frozen 2. Other movies bringing in money for the 2019 box office year were Toy Story 4, Captain Marvel, Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, Aladdin, Dumbo, Maleficent, Mistress of Evil, Mary Poppins Returns, Ralph Breaks the Internet, Penguins, and The Nutcracker and The Four Realms. Fast forward to 2022 and Box Office Pro reports the Walt Disney Company only earned $2 billion domestically and another $2.9 internationally for a global gross of $4.9 billion. That's a 62% decline from 2019. The films bringing in the money in 2022 included Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Doctor Strange, The Multiverse of Madness, Thor, Love and Thunder, Lightyear, Strange World, Encanto, Rogue One, a Star Wars story that was like a re-release. Uh, the Beatles get back the rooftop concert and Eternals. Interestingly, the numbers report that the Walt Disney Company only grossed $1.3 billion domestically when adjusted for inflation in 2022. The difference is likely that Box Office Pro is factoring in Avatar The Way of Water, while the numbers is not. The numbers list Avatar The Way of Water being distributed by 20th Century Studios, albeit it is a subsidi subsidiary of the Walt Disney Company. Now, they still have that as a separate uh, line item uh, in how they do their reporting. Nevertheless, the numbers notes that one that $1.3 billion gross is the lowest grossing total, excluding 2021 and 2020, uh, 2020. Uh, for the Walt Disney Company going as far back as 1995, which is as far back as the numbers reporting goes, it's nearly a 70% decline from 2019's domestic grosses of $4.26 billion. So let's just look at this here so you can see this. This is just so you think I'm, this is right here, box office history for Walt Disney. You can see it here. I'm at the numbers.com. Scroll down. You get year by year market share. The numbers already has their inflation. I actually think their inflation numbers are a little low, but even with the their inflation being a little low you still have right here 1.3 billion 2022 you can see nothing is below that uh, going all the way back to 1995 4.2 billion 2019 3.5 2018 2.7 3.5 2.9 2.2 2.4 2.1 2.6 1.4 1.9 1.6 1.4 1.5 2.4 2.2 2.8 uh, in 1996, and then finally 2.4 in 1995. None of them below 1.3, which is the worst domestic growth for the Walt Disney Company, uh, according to the numbers. Obviously, again, that is without Avatar The Way of Water, uh, which is a 20th Century Studios release. So 70% uh, decline, 70% decline um, from 2019's box office uh, growth. So not only are grosses down, but so are ticket sales. You kind of saw that uh, on that chart as well there. Numbers notes that the Walt Disney Company sold 408.5 million tickets in domestic theaters in 2019. In 2022, the, co the company only sold 129.7 million. That's the lowest number of tickets sold in the numbers entire tracking history that goes back to 1995. In 1995, the company actually sold 232.6 million. 2008 previously held the record for least tickets sold with 139.2 million. I'm not going to go back and read off the numbers again, uh, but they're there. I, I'll, I will show them right here. You can see um, uh, tickets sold. Uh, actually, you have to like click on this movies and release, and then it shows you that. So it's really difficult. Uh, I put them in a spreadsheet so I can keep track of them after I clicked on every single link. Uh, it was a pain in the butt. I wish the numbers would fix that. Um, 
But trust me, it's there. Um, so things are looking even worse when examining the Walt Disney Company's 2023 results. The company is likely to outpace its domestic grosses from 2022, but it's quite likely it will end up having less global grosses. So the company has currently grossed $1.1 billion in 2023 from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, The Little Mermaid, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, Indiana Jones, and The Dial of Destiny, Elemental, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, and Strange World. Uh, with three more releases still to come in Haunted Mansion, The Marvels, and Wish, as well as four films still currently in theaters. It is likely it will surpass 2022's 1.3 billion domestic gross. Again, it only really needs 200 million dollars to do that, and uh, it should it should do that given the fact that it still has four films in theaters and three films to come. I I would assume that the Marvels, Haunted Mansion, and Wish combined are going to at least at least make 200 million dollars. Uh, it's likely they will also sell more tickets as well. The company has only sold 106 million tickets in 2023 so far. <clears throat> so they're currently 23.7 million uh, ticket sales short uh, compared to last year. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 it's uh, by itself sold 34.2 million tickets. And The Little Mermaid also sold 27.6 million. So I think it's quite likely that you get the Wish, um, Wish uh, Marvels, and uh, Haunted Mansion uh, topping those numbers. As for the company's global grosses, uh, I'm going to go back to WDW Pro here in his video. He predicts the company will only gross $4.2 billion globally. According to Deadline, the company has grossed $2.05 billion internationally and another $1.35 billion domestically. Again, those numbers include 20th Century Studios' Avatar The Way of Water. Uh, given these numbers from Deadline, WDW Pro says that uh, Disney, despite having $3.4 billion in revenue, that's what they have currently right now. Um, total Disney will struggle to top 4 billion total. In fact, I think the number they will probably arrive at is 4.2 billion. We'll see how that plays out. That's projecting a bit, but it's also reading the tea leaves and taking a look at where they have been this year and how their films have performed and uh, playing that out with the very few releases they have left. I think he's pretty accurate there. Um, I think they'll probably do another, what is that? $800 million between Haunted Mansion, the Marvels and Wish uh, might actually be a little bit lower than that. We'll see. Um, but uh, I think they'll probably each do around. I mean, who? Knows? I mean, it's, it's they they could do lower, but I definitely think they'll. You'll have at least one of them do um, above three hundred million. Um, so I think they'll be there. So then he gets uh, he gets this number here. His his seventy percent decline. He says now four point two billion. Of course, is a decrease from where they were just last year, right? So four point nine billion to four point two billion. That means a seven hundred million drop is likely. And when you consider that kind of a drop versus the more than 13 billion they were making in 2019, that's a 70% approximate drop because we don't know exactly where this will land, but about a 70% drop overall. So I would be remiss if I didn't point this out. And I think this is really telling between the 2022 numbers and the 2023 numbers. There are a number of, there's one extra film bringing grosses to the box office in 2023. So you already have that. So you have, you'll have 10 uh, Walt Disney um, Company films coming out this year, 2023, once we include Haunted Mansion, The Marvels, and Wish, compared to the nine from 2022. However, it actually is having three more films released in the calendar year compared to 2022. So in 2022, the, they, only released, they truly only released five films. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, Doctor Strange, and the Multiverse of Madness, Thor, Love and Thunder, Lightyear, and Strange World. In 2023, they will have released uh, a lot more than that. So they've already got Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, The Little Mermaid, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, Indiana Jones, The Dial of Destiny, and Elemental. So they're already at five right there, and they still have three more to go. So they're actually going to be releasing eight, eight films uh, this year uh, compared to five last year. Um, so I, I do think that is a... Uh, a bit that is like the biggest black mark on this like they're 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 really close to what they did last year but they have three extra new releases and i think that just shows you how poorly poorly their box office has been this year i mean flop after flop after flop bomb after bomb after bomb i mean we've got predictions out here that they're going to lose 250 million plus dollars on indiana jones and the dial of destiny they're going to lose maybe um 50 million dollars on little mermaid or more I mean, it, it's not looking good. Uh, and I think the Marvels is going to, they're going to lose a lot of money on that film too. Haunted Mansion could be a big disaster as well. And same with the same with Wish. Uh, and, and all of this comes after uh, our good friend, Valiant Renegade, speculated that the Walt Disney Company had lost nearly 900 million at the box office in the past year. And that was before, before Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny released in theaters. So the box office is not looking good for the Walt Disney Company. And I don't think it's going to improve anytime soon because the company has made it clear 
They have no in no intention of changing the type of stories that they are now creating, which are, in my opinion, anti-moviegoers.